Hello, my name is Bill Real. In back in 1996, when I was a 17 year old in my senior year of high school, I was introduced to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints and more generally to Mormonism. I met with the missionaries, I took the discussions, I read the entire Book of Mormon and prayed about it. And because I got what I would call an incredible answer at the time. I decided to get baptized and to join the church. I became a Latter-day Saint. I was interested from the beginning in church history, and I was given many opportunities to serve in leadership positions up until when I was 29 years old and I was called as a bishop of this small ward in uh, North Central Ohio, right on the shores of Lake Erie. I was deeply interested in the history of the church, and I noticed that as I spent my time trying to understand the history, I would run into what I would call sticky issues, issues where the, the history seemed to indicate that the issue was problematic and complex and I noticed that not only would I run into questions and sometimes even doubts, but that other members of the church also found these same issues to be messy and problematic. Some of them even not only having doubts, but losing belief and some of them even leaving the church. I knew for years that I just wanted to help people, people to be informed, to have information, to have these issues in their historical context, and to have a balanced view, because so often the critics of the church pose the problems as very one-sided. And I wanted to create a document that allowed people to understand the issue from all perspectives, to have access to all of the historical data, and to be able to have enough information that they could look at the issue objectively and uh, rationally and use a critical thinking mind and be able to come to a conclusion that was an informed decision about the these issues that are troubling folks within the church, either within church history or things of, uh, regarding what our prophets have said or taught in the past. And so the document that I created was the Mormon Primer. When I started the document, I created kind of a rough outline and kind of a basic premise for it. And then I invited the general public to get involved. And so hundreds of people contributed to this document, ensuring that uh, the correct grammar was used, that we got our words spelled right, but also more importantly, that we were being fair and balanced and thorough on these issues, providing enough historical data, enough sources from the historical documents to help people be able to, uh, again, wrestle with these issues in a way that they would have access to all the information that's out there and be able to make informed decisions. This document, the Mormon Primer, an examination of controversial issues within Mormonism from multiple perspectives. In the very first uh, inside page, it states its purpose. The major aim of this article is to present some of Mormonism's most controversial issues from various perspectives, including mainstream, critical, and apologetic, as well as to suggest some ways the issue can be reconciled to faith. We acknowledge that individual belief is dynamic and varied, and as such, this is not meant to confine personal belief to any one perspective. Readers likely identify with elements of multiple perspectives. Helpful resources are provided as footnotes uh, throughout at the bottom of each page and resources at the end of each section or topic for further research. We took the most problematic issues, the ones that cause people to question or doubt uh, the most, and we made those the topics that we covered. 
within each topic, we chose to frame the topic uh, along the lines of four perspectives. The first one is a mainstream perspective, and this is the perspective that members of the church generally hold. We then share the critical perspective. This is the perspective of those who see the LDS church's truth claims as completely false. Then we have the apologetic perspective. This is the perspective of those who know the critic's argument and offer a counter-argument. And lastly, we put in a reconciled view. This would be the perspective of Mormons who have integrated the historical facts or criticisms with their Mormon beliefs into a new faithful approach. These folks are going to be nuanced, but they're going to deal with the data as it actually is. They're going to be aware of the issues and understand them in a way that, that they have wrestled with them and come out the other side, having made informed decisions about how to put these issues to rest. The next page in will have the topics and the page number. These are the issues that we cover. First, treasure digging and folk magic of Joseph Smith and his family. Second, Joseph Smith's first vision. Followed up by the witnesses of the Book of Mormon, David Whitmer, Oliver Cowdery, Martin Harris, as well as the eight witnesses who said they held and hefted the plates and felt them. Next is the Book of Mormon historicity, followed by the Book of Abraham, the prophetic mantle, science, tithing, the word of wisdom, the true and living church, Joseph Smith's practice of polygamy, polygamy after Joseph Smith, the cessation of polygamy, the role of women throughout church history, temples in Freemasonry, scripture, the race-based priesthood and temple ban, homosexuality and the church, spiritual witness as a mode of knowing truth, and lastly, the historical Jesus. Each chapter begins with its title or topic or issue that we're focusing on, and then you've got the first view, which will be the mainstream view. In there, you will read about the view that you will probably sense that most Mormons hold. The quotes are in red, and at the very bottom of every page, there are footnotes to the sources within the historical data from where those facts came from. We finish up the mainstream view, and then we tell you the critical view. And the critical view uh, is comes from those who believe that the church isn't true. We follow that up with the apologetic view. This would be organizations such as Fair Mormon or the Maxwell Institute at Brigham Young University. These are views of folks who understand the issues and offer a, a faithful way uh, to see this issue and put it back together. And lastly, the reconciled view, which does a similar thing, but what it does is it tries to deal with the data um, more honestly. It attempts to take the historical context. It uh, attempts to take the most rational way to uh, organize these facts, because often apologists seem to uh, dismiss or obfuscate the issues and not really deal with the crux of the problem, whereas the reconciled view really does truly attempt to deal with the data at hand to help you come out with a faithful perspective after running into these sticky issues within the history and theology of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and more generally Mormonism at large. At the end of each topic or issue, there are resources for personal research, and each of these links are hyperlinked to those websites where you can read uh, the historical data, look at the historical documents, and uh, sense the various views along the spectrum of belief. 
in the first page of issues, I want you to note that every single one of these chapters uh, is hyperlinked. You can click that chapter and it will take you right to it. Not here on YouTube, but when you go to visit the Mormon Primer, which is found at mormondiscussions.org. So that website is M-O-R-M-O-N-D-I-S-C-U-S-S-I-O-N-S dot org. You'll see the various podcasts and other programs that we do, but towards the bottom of those programs, you'll see the document, the Mormon Primer. Click that hyperlink and it will take you right to it. And we go through each chapter doing those things. At the end of each chapter, those resources for personal research that we spoke about, each of those is hyperlinked as well. And then you could just copy and paste any of the footnotes, uh, URL addresses, and that will take you to the actual source data for the facts and claims that are made throughout the article. We hope this is helpful. We hope this helps you to look at these sticky issues and feel safer to deconstruct them, to be able to wrestle with them, knowing that you are being given a fair and balanced approach to do so. Thank you and have a great day.